after around 10 months to a year, I swear guys, yung pores ko really looked smaller and the texture of my skin was so much better. Hi everyone, come sa kayo. My name is Jan Angelo. Welcome to my channel where we talk about skincare, skincare, and are. Okay. Welcome to my channel where we talk about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So if may di kayo doon, please keep watching. So ang pag-uusapan natin today guys is actually a highly requested topic but it's also a highly complex topic. It is about retinoids. Kung ano ba sila, ano ba ang use nila sa skincare. As with any video, I will also be talking about my experience with the skincare active and why you might want it in your skincare routine. So without further ado, let us begin. So retinoids, also known as vitamin A, are one of the most used, most researched, and most complex ingredients in skincare. Now, ang reason guys is because ang daming benefits ng paggamit ng retinoids sa skin natin. Now, initially guys, yung retinoids has been known as a treatment for acne. But throughout time, it has actually been discovered na may iba pa siyang benefits sa skin. And these benefits include anti-aging, it also helps the appearance of the pores. Hindi niya pinapaliit yung pores, pero pinapamukha niyang maliit yung pores. It has also been shown to have effects on skin texture, hyperpigmentation, sun damage, ang daming excellent effects on the skin guys and that is why retinoids are one of the most researched ingredient one of the best ingredients that you can actually use in your skincare now depende sa mato tolerate ng skin you guys or more importantly kung ano yung ipaprescribe ng derma sa inyo there are actually different kinds of retinoids but in this video i will be talking to you about the three kinds of retinoids that are very prominent or very present in the skincare world. Actually, hindi lang in the skincare world, parang in the world of dermatology. Pero since hindi ako derma, I'm not here to prescribe it to you. I'm not here to tell you to use this. I will only tell you why they are used and what they are used for. The first retinoid you should know about is the king of all retinoids. This is called Tretinoin. Now guys, tretinoin is one of the most researched retinoids, if not the most researched retinoids. Lahat ng other retinoids na ni-research nila compare their results to this retinoid. Ito talaga yung king. Ito yung the best of the best ng lahat ng retinoids. Simply because there is a lot of research that suggests that Tretinoin is effective on the skin. Now, gaya ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina guys, initially, yung tretinoin was just known to be a medication for acne. Pero yun nga, throughout time, it has been seen in patients na as they grew older, their skin quality also got better. As in parang very bouncy, very plump, very young yung skin nila. And that is when they discovered that tretinoin actually has other benefits for the skin aside from just the treatment of acne. And since then, tretinoin has been known to be the gold standard ingredient in anti-aging because ito yung main na tinatrust na mga tao na ginagamit nila and their fine lines and their wrinkles would soften or would lessen in appearance. But even if sa anti-aging lang siya gold standard, a lot of dermas, hindi ko sinasabing lahat, but a lot of dermas, including my derma, have prescribed tretinoin as a treatment para sa acne, para sa hyperpigmentation because again guys, gaya na sinabi ko kanina, effective siya for those issues. So examples of products that you can see tretinoin in are products like retin ay baliktad. Products like retin A. So as you can see guys, branded na siya. So yung brand niya is retin A and then yung generic name niya is tretinoin. So you can also find other brands of tretinoin but it is generally the same thing parang gamot because again, this is a medication. Yung mga ibang dermas din, pag nagpaprescribe sila ng tretinoin, usually, meron na silang available sa mga derma clinic nila. So, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta sa mercury drug para bumili ng tretinoin. Tretinoin can also be found in products such as Maxi Peel and RDL Baby Face and other rejuvenating sets. Now, keep in mind guys, products like Maxi Peel or RDL Baby Face, meron silang tretinoin pero hindi lang yun yung ingredient ng product. Meron din silang ingredient na tinatawag na hydroquinone which you have to handle very carefully if you are using it or better yet consult your derma if you are interested in using this ingredient kasi ayaw natin itong ma-handle ng mali guys. Also if you want a video of me talking about yung Maxi Peel and RDL baby face 
case um, in a more in-depth manner, do tell me in the comments and I will be glad to talk about it. So yun guys, actually readily available ang tretinoin. It is over the counter in the Philippines. But there is one catch when using this product. Kapag gumamit kayo ng tretinoin sa skin nyo guys, merong adjustment period wherein your skin actually dries up flakes up, turns red, gets easily irritated. Minsan yung mga adjustment periods na to, magba-break out din yung skin mo or parang magiging very inflamed. And it is for this very reason guys na kapag gumagamit ng tretinoin, it is best or it is very recommended for you to use it under the guidance of a physician or a dermatologist. Kasi sila yung magmo-monitor kung ano ba yung nangyayari sa skin mo while you are on tretinoin. Sila rin ang magsasabi sa inyo kung ilang times a week ba dapat gamitin yung tretinoin as a medication for whatever skin concern that you have, kung ano yung guidelines on how to use it para malesen yung irritation sa skin nyo. Kasi guys, pag na-irritate yung skin nyo, it is not pretty as in. Ako personally, nakapagamit na ako ng retinoids or tretinoin and na-irritate yung skin ko and I did not like how I looked. So, if you want to use tretinoin wisely, it is best that you consult with your derma para rin makuha nyo yung full benefits ng tretinoin with the least amount of irritation possible. Sila yung magbibigay sa inyo ng instructions. So yun guys, tretinoin, while it is the best retinoid that you can get out there, it has a risk that it can irritate your skin or merong adjustment period. Kaya throughout time, there are more kinds of retinoids that have been developed na lesser amount of irritation yung makukuha mo from them but you still get somewhat yung benefits na makukuha mo from tretinoin. So an example of these next generation retinoids is actually the kind of retinoid that I am using right now. And it is called Adapalene. Now imagine you guys, see si Adapalene para siyang younger sibling ni tretinoin in a sense na mas bago siya. Mas bago siyang medication which is also available over the counter in the Philippines. It's mostly used for those na ang gusto talaga nilang benefit na makuha from retinoids is yung anti-acne effect or yung anti-blackheads or anti-whiteheads effect. Now guys, that's not to say na adapalene is better than tretinoin when it comes to anti-acne. It's just that some people tolerate adapalene better than tretinoin because compared to tretinoin, adapalene actually has a lesser chance of irritation on the skin. Pero again guys, I am not saying na hindi kayo may irritate sa adapalene. It is just that the chances are lower. Pero ako personally, nagkaroon pa rin ako ng adjustment period sa Adapalene, wherein my skin was more sensitive than usual, it was drier than usual. Adapalene definitely can still have an adjustment period for the skin and you can still potentially go through that adjustment phase. So again, ito ulit siya guys, it is the current retinoid na ginagamit ko right now. Actually, it took me a while before nakita ko yung effects ng adapalene on my skin. Kasi ayun nga, nagkaroon ako ng adjustment period and that was around three to four weeks, so around a month. And it took me around mga four to six months before nakita ko yung actual effect niya sa skin ko, which is nag yung blackheads and whiteheads ko and mostly yung acne ko na manage na siya. Pero when it comes to yung sa pag ng whiteheads and blackheads and acne, guys, hindi lang siya adapalin eh. Parang hindi lang yung adapalin yung makakredit ko dun. It was also more of a change of lifestyle. Um, yung sleep ko, as in mas prioritize ko siya, and then yung pagkain ko ng uh, food na lesser in sugar. As in, nag-reduce talaga ako ng sugar sa kinakain ko. And I think yun yung isa din sa mga nagkaroon ng big impact when it comes to lessening acne and blackheads and whiteheads. So yun, this is currently the retinoid that I am using right now. Um, pero what I would say is this was prescribed to me by my derma. So... Um, syempre, yung derma na pupuntahan nyo, sila yung best na makakaalam kung ano ba yung iprescribe sa'yo. So, it is still best to talk to them about this. Ask them if um, pwede ka ba gumamit ng adapalene? Okay ba siya sa skin mo? Or pwede ka ba gumamit ng tretinoin? It is really up to them to decide which is best sa skin mo because they are the ones who can assess this. Now, last but definitely not the least, we are going to be talking about the retinoids that are the most gentle for your skin. And the best part, you can really lessen the time of the adjustment period for retinoids 
on your skin with this kind of retinoid. And the other best part of this is hindi siya parang over-the-counter medication. It is um, a skincare active that appears in a lot of skincare products. Dito pumapasok guys ang retinol. Now, ang retinol guys, gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, it has an even lower chance of irritating your skin as compared to tretinoin or adapalene. But again, take note, hindi siya 0% chance ha. It is just a lower chance of irritating your skin. And ito yung ingredient na may kita mo in most skincare products, particularly in serums, para mas mabilis daw siya mag-absorb sa skin. Pero minsan, ang mga retinols can also be in moisturizer form or in eye cream form. Now, usually guys, ang retinol, okay siya for those na parang, okay naman ako sa skin ko ngayon, but I just want to give my skin a little bit of a boost. And hindi ako masyadong nagmamadali for results. Yung retinol kasi guys, it tends to be slower when it comes to its effects as compared to tretinoin and adapalene. The reason being, okay, medyo magiging technical tayo dito ah. Yung retinol guys, kailangan pa siya i-convert ng body mo twice bago siya maging retinoic acid which is the form or the version of retinoids na maaabsorb ng skin mo agad-agad. Unlike tretinoin guys, Tretinoin is already retinoic acid. So, pag pinahid mo yung tretinoin on your skin, it will already be received by your skin as soon as possible, ASAP, immediately. Imagine nyo, yung receptors ng skin natin is alabang town center, kunyari. <laughs> yung tretinoin, guys, imagine nyo, nakatira lang siya sa BF Homes. So, if kailangan niyang pumunta sa alabang town center, konting tumbling lang, nandun na siya. Si retinol, guys, imagine nyo parang taga Makati siya. So, ang gagawin niya is kailangan niya pumunta ng Magallanes and then kailangan niya pa magbayad ng toll bago siya makapunta sa Alabang Town Center. So, parang ganun yung comparison, guys. Sana na-gets nyo kasi sobrang konyo burgis ng example na yun. So, naging experience ko sa retinol, guys, was uh, a few years ago already. Luckily, uh, available na agad yung The Ordinary during that time. So, bumili lang ako. I think it was the 0.2% retinol in squalene. Actually, yung parang series na yun, uh, it also had 0.5% and 1% retinol. Siyempre, nabasa ko na it can be potentially irritating to your skin, diba? So, medyo natakot ako. So, sabi ko, okay, start tayo dun sa lowest and then we'll see. Ginamit ko lang siya three times a week. MWF. Tapos yun, guys, actually, in all fairness to the product, wala akong parang adjustment period that I had to go through. If I were to look back, kung ano yung gentlest na retinoid na ginamit ko. It's probably this product from The Ordinary. Ang masasabi ko lang is medyo matagal talaga siya before I got to see the results. Umabot ako, I think, around 10 months to a year. Pero guys, nakita ko talaga yung results. Yung pores ko really looked smaller and the texture of my skin was so much better. So ultimately guys, it's up to you kung patient enough kayo. And again, meron siyang 0.5% and 1% and I have seen friends that have gotten their skin irritated by uh, these products. So, hindi ko talaga masasabi na 0% chance, especially for the higher products. But in my experience, uh, for just using it 3 times a week consistently for 10 to 12 months, naging okay naman yung skin ko sa experience na yun. But again, that's just me. Your mileage may vary. Alright guys, so yun yung naging experience ko with 3 retinoids that are present in today's skincare. But, since I am giving you information as well about retinoids, I feel like responsible ako para sabihin to sa inyo, guys. Number one, if gagamit kayo, you absolutely 1000% need to use sunscreen in your routine. Like I always say, kahit na hindi ka naman gumagamit ng skincare actives, you need to use sunscreen in your routine. But, all the more na kapag gumagamit kayo ng retinoids, you have to use sunscreen because retinoids make your skin more sensitive to the sun. So kunyari, lumabas kayo ng walang sunscreen na suot and nagre-retinoids kayo, you actually have a higher risk of getting sun damage, sunburn, and the other risks that you can get from unprotected sun exposure. Number two, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, sa alam ko guys, you cannot use any form of retinoids on your skin. But just to be extra sure, please ask your dermatologist or your physician or anyone na expert 
on this if you can use retinoids on your skin, consult case experts because it is in your best interest that magamit mo itong product na to ng mabuti. And dagdag ko lang guys, it is recommended that you use them at night because that is when they work better. So anyway, yon. Oh my god. <laughs> Grabe, ang bigat talaga ng topic na retinoids forever. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you currently using a retinoid right now? Or do you have any experience using a retinoid? What do you think? Also, if you found this video informative, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!